Introducing the Atari Mega ST2, a retro computer that made its mark in the 80s and 90s. It came equipped with the TOS, Tramil operating system, and GEM, graphics environment manager software. TOS was a proprietary operating system developed by Atari that provided a user-friendly interface and enabled the computer to run various applications and software programs. It had a graphical user interface, making it easier to navigate the computer and access different functions. The Atari Mega ST2 was equipped with a separate keyboard and the mouse had two buttons that connected to the computer via a serial port. The keyboard featured two ports on the back for connecting a mouse and joystick. These ports used a 9-pin DSAP connector, which was a common type of connector for computer peripherals at the time. A big advantage of the Atari ST was its ability to use a monochrome monitor, which could display high-resolution black-and-white graphics. The monochrome screen was also easy on the eyes, as it did not produce the same level of eye strain as a color monitor of the time. To allow switching between the two monitors without unplugging and replugging cables, a monochrome color monitor splitter was developed. This splitter was a small adapter that plugged into the video port of the back of the computer and allowed the user to toggle between the two with a switch. The Megafile 30 was a hard disk drive designed specifically for the Atari Mega ST computer, and it featured a similar design. It had a storage capacity of 30 megabytes, which was considered quite large at the time. While the Atari ST came with a built-in 3.5 inch floppy disk drive, it was possible to connect a 5.25 inch drive. However, if you wanted to be able to boot from that drive, you needed a boot switching mode. This involved installing a switch that allowed users to choose which floppy disk drive to boot the system from. Let's not forget to mention the fact that the Atari ST was notable for its MIDI ports. The ST had two MIDI ports, labeled MIDI in and MIDI out, which allowed the computer to connect to MIDI devices such as keyboards, synthesizers and drum machines. The ST's built-in MIDI ports made it a popular choice for musicians and music producers in the 80s and 90s. Overall, while the Atari ST was known for its professional and business applications, it was also a great system for gaming. With a powerful processor, impressive graphics capabilities, and a wide range of games available. Let's load up Rainbow 3, which is an action game developed by Ocean Software and released for the Atari ST in 1988. The game is based on the movie of the same name and follows John Rambo, a former Green Beret, as he takes on a mission to rescue his friend Colonel Sam Troutman from Afghanistan. Thank you for watching this introduction to my new series of short 3 minute videos that explore the world of retro computers. I hope you are excited about diving into the fascinating history and technology of these classic machines. Over the course of the series I will be taking a deep dive into the world of vintage computing, exploring the hardware, software and games that made these machines so special. I will be covering a wide range of systems from iconic models like the Commodore 64 and ZX Spectrum to lesser known gems like the MSX and Acorn Archimedes. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the world of retro computing.